We're going to show how to properly install the Kason ultrasonic transducer device. We're going to start by putting the screen on. Then we take our spacing frame. Then we put our clampering assembly on the frame. making sure the clamp is properly seated. Then we simply tighten up the clamp ring assembly. Once the clamp is tight, then we'll install the caisson transducer, the ultrasonic transducer. You see we're pushing the transducer with the thick part going through the holder. Now we just let that slide in there. Then we take our disc that will make contact with the screen. And we put the disc on, and we just turn it on till, uh, till it's snug. Then we're going to go ahead and tighten the disc. We'll be using two wrenches to tighten the disc. Once the disc is snug, we go ahead and we'll loosen the back nuts that hold the holder in place. And we just straighten that out. You can see the transducer moves nice and easy in and out of the hole. And what we do is put the disc flat onto the epoxy mount pad and make sure that it is parallel with the screen. Once that looks like it's properly set, we go ahead and we tighten the holder to the support bar on the frame. And we just snug that up. Then we'll gently press on the transducer. As you can see, I'm not holding the stem at all. I'm holding the holder portion and also just plunging down on the fat portion of the transducer. We don't want to cause any damage by this stem twisting or turning. So we gently press down on that. As you can see, the screen just depresses very slightly. Then we get our wrench and secure the transducer. Thank you. When you are doing this, you must be careful as not to drop the wrench onto the fine mesh screen or it will cause damage. We make sure that's nice and tight and secure. After the disc is installed, we look to make sure it's, it's mounted on the screen properly, that it's making good contact. And it, it does need a little more tightening, so let me just tighten it up a little more.
Let me make sure that the plate once again is flat with the epoxy mount. And we'll just run a piece of paper along there just to make sure there's no gaps. If there is any gaps, you could readjust it simply by loosening up the set screw. And then readjusting. And that is the proper installation for the Kasonic transducer.